Iranian authorities won't let us report from inside Iran. So this month, we're just west of the country, in northern Iraq. This is Erbil, the capital of Iraq's semi-autonomous region of Kurdistan. The area has become known for its economic growth, relative stability and security, especially compared to southern Iraq. This is why Iraqi Kurdistan is attracting investors, workers and refugees from the Middle East and beyond. Among them are Iranians who come here for work, for fun and for refuge. Many were imprisoned in Iran for their human rights activities and they're fleeing here in search of safety. Saida Sandi savors the simple pleasures of freedom. He lost that freedom five times in his homeland of Iran. In prison, Saeed's captors accused him of crimes such as belonging to anti-regime groups and spying for Britain, where he'd studied for a year. Saeed was released on bail in 2011 and ran away from Iran to neighboring Iraq. He's just one of several hundred Iranians who have escaped to Iraqi Kurdistan in the past few years seeking asylum. They've included demonstrators protesting the results of Iran's 2009 presidential election, journalists, bloggers and political dissidents too. Many are ethnic Kurds like most people in Iraqi Kurdistan and like the Goli family who fled here three years ago. Three brothers and their parents, all activists, did time behind bars in Iran. As a human rights activist in western Iran, Yasser Goli was interviewed by foreign media and organized sit-ins in his university. He was accused of acting against national security, a charge he denied. His sentence, 15 years in prison. His mother led a support group for Kurdish mothers whose children were killed in conflicts with Iran's ruling regime. Her sentence, six years in prison. Somehow the Golis escaped Iran. The UN Refugee Agency has granted them refugee status, but the Golis claim the Iranian authorities have scuttled their requests to resettle in other countries. So for now, they wait in Iraqi Kurdistan. Saeed didn't have to wait as long. After eight months here, he received the right to resettle in Germany. He says he'll continue his human rights work wherever he is. Next month, you'll hear about Iranian musicians crossing into Iraq to make music freely. And we'll have more news and analysis on human rights in Iran.